Hello. It's um, Wednesday morning before Christmas. It's a beautiful day. We've had awful weather. Big winds and rain and it's been freezing. Really weird. I'm home. I had a bit of a COVID scare. Turned out to be negative anyhow. I'm just crook with something else. Probably exhaustion from overwork. Now I'm going to try something that I saw suggested by somebody else. I can't remember who it was. But they said, it's using an old canvas, that you flood the canvas, flood your canvas, paint it first, and then you flood it with a bit of Floatrol, which is what I'm going to do. And then you paint on the top and it keeps the colours nice and bright, especially when you've got a black underneath. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to, I haven't put my gloves on, silly person, but we'll put, we'll put some Floatrol on this. Floatrol plenty of it so you flood it with this now this this is the stuff that you put in the back of the paint this is your medium to get your paints to flow so instead of putting wet black I've got I've painted it black it was a canvas that something didn't work on I wasn't happy with it was quite attractive in its own way but it wasn't doing what I wanted so I've painted it black and now I'm putting the Floatrol on the top and hoping it doesn't dry too soon before I do another one. What it is is a controlled cut flip. Now I did one and I thought it was very dramatic. So I'm going to try and do another one. This time to prove that the first time wasn't an accident. So I've stacked some paint here. They're just leftovers. We'll see how we go. Lifting the canvas up to meet the cup. And we want it thick at one end and thin at the other. So here we go. Give it a moment to settle down. So I've just filled it with all sorts of paint. Now I don't know whether you then go around the outside with the flow troll or not, but we'll see. We'll try it and see. So it's starting to move. I just hope I've got enough paint in there. I may not have enough, but we'll see. Now, where is my trusty skewer? Here is my trusty skewer. It's there. All right, here we go, folks. Let's see how we go. <laughs> lifting it, lifting it. I want it to go down here, like that. All right. So now we're going to run it down here. But we'd like to run it down, so we might run it out a little bit first. Now what I'm trying to do is make it thick at one end, thin at the other, and try and maintain that cup flip, flip cup appearance with the colours on the inside because they're just so attractive as they come out of the, the cup. We'll take it down here a little bit further. Like that. And over here. And I'm actually procrastinating my poor old cat does need to go to the vet but every time I pick up the phone he looks at me and talks to me and tries to sit on my knee and purr and everything and I'm just being a wimp. This morning some currawongs came, baby currawongs, so they must have migrated back. And they came and they've knocked on the window and they've swung on the fly screen. Now, the interesting thing is I don't think they know what happens after you do that. They've been told to do this by their parents. So they did that and then got the shock of their lives when I arrived outside the door with some dry cat food for them. So they knew the routine. They didn't know what, the, what happened afterwards. Picking up a big stink though, this morning. 
and what is satisfying is that is music of Johannes Brahms variations on a theme of Joseph Haydn. So we want it to travel over on that side over there. Come on. This is very slow. We don't want you to travel too much in the middle there. But we don't mind if it goes off the end. This end. Doesn't have to, but it doesn't matter if it does. Well, we're trying to stretch out all those cells in the middle there. What I'm after is an organic look. Organic, okay? Organic. So it's come from the very earth itself. Which is a bit interesting with these colours. They're scarcely earth colours. Oh, yeah. Now move it back down here. So it's take your time, take your time, take your time. Da 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 da. So, come on, I'll just move it over this way a little bit while we're waiting because it's getting so painful. Well, take it down there, we want it down into that corner down there, so we'll aim it over there. Oh, can you see it moving? Gee, I hope this doesn't take too long. Last one I did of these took 26 minutes, which seemed to be forever. Don't know what it was like for the poor devils that watched it. It was a long time doing it. Move it around a bit. getting there. I want to join this bit up so I'll just use the old finger. Hey, Now we don't want it to go off the end on this end but we do want it to do interesting things. So <coughs> hold it up this way. <coughs> What do you reckon? Do you think that's enough of a shape? I think it is. I think that might do it. So now we get out our trusty skewer and we start moving things out like this. See? is not to be shy of moving the paint.
Bring it out far enough, that's the thing. Okay guys, what do you reckon? How does that look? I've got enough from the middle here. <laughs> Bit hard to tell, isn't it? That might be what we need to do. A little bit of a wiggle. Let's see if it does that. And then we get our little blow torchy thing. And warm it up. See what happens. See whether that blow chill, blow chill absorbs this goes flat. It's supposed to be clear. Okie dokie. Okay, we'll leave it for a moment and then I'll take it inside. I'll bring it up and show you. That's the thing to do, isn't it? I don't know whether you can see all of this. So we have this end here. It goes through. Now all those little pop marks and everything smooth themselves out. It's all a bit magic. 
and then we've got this sort of paisley effect up this end. So these are just leftover colours from things that I've done in the past. They're not fresh, which might make a difference. But what we're testing is whether this flooding with Floetrol on a plain back on a plain canvas works and retains the brightness of the colours. Because sometimes when you try and work on black, the black gets into the colours and dulls it down. That's happened quite a lot, so this might be a way around. And I don't know who it was that I saw doing it, but whoever it was, thank you very much. Okay, guys, talk to you another time. Bye-bye.